All right, the first um, activity in 5.2 is to create a name tag that we're going to print on our 3D printer. And this needs to be done as a metric millimeter part. Um, so we'll start out here, do a new. When you first open up new, if you haven't used metric yet, you click new metric, standard millimeter part, create. And then you'll notice that the first step in this is to sketch a rectangle that is 60 by 20, and then use the fillet and chamfer tool to put six millimeter fillets and chamfers on the ends, and then extrude to a depth of four centimeters. Okay, so I'll start by creating a, a sketch. Um, remember, you always want to start using the origin as one of your points. We'll go 60 millimeters by 20 millimeters high. Okay, escape gets you out of a tool. Up here is the fillet tool and chamfer tool. They're paired together. Um, fillet is there by default. Um, chamfer, there's different options for the chamfer, but we want to chamfer the same distance and we want to do a distance of six millimeters. So all we have to do is point and click at two sides and say OK. And then let's do also do a six millimeter fillet and point and click on those two ends, those two sides. and then finish sketch or E to extrude a distance of four millimeters. Okay, that looks good. Um, next step is to put a sketch on there and drill a hole. Um, so let's put a sketch on that front face. Use the point tool. And let's dimension six millimeters from the end and 10 millimeters from the top or the bottom. Finish the sketch and we'll drill a five millimeter hole. Okay, and since we have that point dimensioned on there, it's al already selected that. If it does have a distance, you want to make sure that you are drilling the hole through all of it. We don't want to specify a distance, we want to drill through all. Say OK. All right, next step, we, have a, we still have a couple sharp edges. I don't like sharp edges. So we, can also, we also have the fillet and chamfer tool within doing them as a feature instead of as a um, within the sketch and actually we're usually better off doing things as features because they're easier to edit and modify if we decide to change something but let's just put a two millimeter fillet on all four of those corners and apply those and then finally, um, you're going to go ahead and put um, your text on and use the emboss tool to emboss and engrave the text eight millimeters into the face. Okay, so go ahead and put a sketch on the front face again. Um, as far as the text, when you put your name on there or your initials or whatever you want to do, you'll have to play with how big you want it to be and, and what font size and whether you want to bold it or change the font. You just kind of have to play with it. So whatever, whatever you decide, you, you, it's just kind of a guess and check. You look at it and see how it looks. Now the other thing that you want to probably do um, in order to get that centered up, 
you can put some dimensions on your text box. So I'm just going to go f four millimeters from top and bottom. And let's go, how about 10 millimeters from that end. And how about 10 from that end? Okay, and you're going to say, well, it's not centered yet. Well, I did center up the box. I can go back in my text tool, highlight my text. And just like in Microsoft Word, we could go ahead and center those, center those up. If you're happy with the size, we're good. Um, you can change what the color of the text is. And, you know, maybe maybe we don't want, maybe we want to be closer to this end. As I look at it now, maybe that looks a little bit off. So you just play with that till you get something that looks good to you. There, I made one side 10, the other side 5, and being centered, then I'm a little bit more centered between my hole. Okay? finish the sketch and then we're going to emboss now notice that's looking for are we going to cut we're going to engrave into the face you're going to select your profile and notice the direction arrow that's going the wrong direction so we want to go into the face 0.8 millimeters and right here you can pick your color now I'm just going to go up and pick black that will just allow me to see my engraving when I when I do my engraving. If you want to put something on the other side, as long as you don't go any deeper than 0.8 millimeters, you could put text on both sides. Okay. Um, of course, we should save this as name tag my initials. Of course, you should do your initials, but. Okay, and then finally, um, in order to send that to the 3D printer, it has to be converted to a CAD file format and saved as an STL file. So we have export to a CAD file format and select STL. Okay, so there's the name tag activity.